Palm weevil larva production, scientifically called Rhecophoria finisis, is one of the most profitable agro ventures that you can start with that will boost in your financial capacity. The demand of the larva is very high, but those who are farming it are not much. This is my research. I did research on how we can domesticate it. After my research, I'll be able to discover how we can manipulate it and rear it at home. So I've created lots of video on how we can farm this palm weevil lava. So if you have not watched it, you can watch. So in this video, the main aim of this video is to teach you how to increase the productivity of the palm weevil larvae. Because a lot of people have been calling that they are larvae they are not producing well. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can make the larvae to produce. That in a box, one box with a 5 mil and 5 mil, you can get up to 200 larvae how you can increase the production so that is what i'm going to be teaching you in this video if you are new to the channel please do have to subscribe if you are watching for facebook follow us so let's go yeah, welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to be teaching you how you can uh, make your weevils to produce more for you palm weevil produce very well the female can lay up to 300 eggs in a life circle they can lay up to 300 eggs so if you put five male and five female in a box they are supposed to give you at least 200 larvae and above once the egg ash because when they lay the egg it's not all of the egg that we ash understand but normally you are supposed to get up to 200 weevil and larvae in a box so how will you make these things to produce more for you number one thing you have to do in making them to produce for you if you put the formula for them let's say you mix your formula and you put your weevils inside your box you make sure that uh, the place you put them is not hot so most times the weevils will die before in very early so if the weevils die very early the production will not be high let's say uh, the female is now they lay let's say 10 10 eggs now you see that it's not many but once the place you keep them is cool they will make them to produce more like if you go to the forest where is their natural habitat you see that inside the palm tree where they, they should, should be the palm tree or the raffia tree is always cool so you they must uh, making it farming it at home where you are breeding it you need to be very cool then another thing you have to fight against is predators one of the greatest predators of palm weevil larvae is a uh, ass fly ass fly is, is is really a predator because once ass fly have access to the place ass fly will go and shit larvae inside so once ass fly shit larvae inside the larvae of the ass fly will kill most of the the, the larvae of the palm weevil larvae so what you are going to do once you have put your formula you make sure that you use a lining white lining to cover to cover your box to make sure that on external predators cannot penetrate inside then you make sure that the place you keep them like i said earlier you need to be very cool don't put them in a hot environment understand? don't put them in where smoke have access to the place keep them in a cool environment they will produce well for you another one is you must make sure that once you have put the weevils inside put food for them to eat the food they are going to put is the banana they eat banana and sugar cane so in process of breeding them you have to put a, enough banana that will leave you, you they will be eating you understand they will be eating put enough banana so that the weevils will be eating the banana as they are eating they will be reproducing they will be reproducing then you also make sure that the place you are keeping them does not have access to any source of chemical chemical like uh, fuel uh, ipo any type of chemical at all insect killers don't be inside there don't spray it around the environment because if you spray it around that environment it will kill the weevils because once the weevils die early enough early they will not produce well for you so these are the things you need to put into notice I believe you are enjoying this video if you have not subscribed yet to the channel please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so that youtube will recommend our videos to 
more audience so another one you have to look into is uh, for those that are starting the business newly like newborn babies in the business most of them they used to be very anxious <laughs> i was anxious when i started to go and check they will go and be checking it to be open using their hand to check it in process of you checking it using your hand to scatter it most times you break their eggs their eggs is like a grain of rice it's very small it's very whitish so most times as you are using your hand to check it you may break it so most of the eggs will be damaged the another one is they are very sensitive the lavas are very sensitive the moment you begin to open the formula you put for them you begin to open and use your hand to to be scattering the, the formula most of the larvae will die so they are very sensitive so what you have to do even though you want to check once you put the formula you must allow the formula to stay larvae to we to stay there for at least 20 days by 20 days time they are at least they are they have grown to some certain age then you just open small let's say you use a coconut uh, back coconut back is one of the things we use you cannot back to put on top of it you can just open the one of the coconut back small so once you open it you will see the larvae them the ones that have layer the developing larvae you will see them then you can now check that one open just check what bring that one and check the size and put back don't scatter the thing don't scatter the formula so that the larvae will not die because if you scatter the formulas most of the larvae them inside will die so that is what you need to do to make it to to be more many and always sometimes what you have to do is after that 20 something days 20 days and you discover some of the weevils that have died you can replace you can replace if it's female that died you can replace but don't scatter it that much so that you will not break the eggs or kill the larvae so that is what you are going to be doing then your formula is very important the formula you use for breeding them is very important we have rich formula that we did seven days you begin to see the big life is them that are developing so if you want to undergo training we, we render training online and practical training on lava production come to our farm our farm we have our farms in uh, Bayesa state we have in Delta state in Bayesa we have it in a uh, Okotiyama at Senegua local government area in Delta state you can get us at Ozoro, we have one of our locations at Ozoro Delta State, and also we have another location in Kwale. So you can call us on our number for training. On our call us on our number 080-633-45443 for practical and online training. If for a large production, I encourage you to come for the online training for us to put you through on how you can produce it massively. Because the demand is very high. I have seen series of videos I'll be doing on the importance of the larvae production. So if you have not watched those videos, check the description box below and watch these videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, share this video. Give us a thumbs up till I come your way again. I remember my humble self, Tabaway Brief, Ibi Maboe. Bye bye till I come your way again. God bless you.